me, Arc. Good. You're back in one piece. Ah, good morning, Arthur. Get some rest. Save the silly bastard's life, and you and him go robbing sheep. He's a grown man, Abigail. At least he looks like one. He's a goddamn father. He's got a child. He ain't no father. I'm just begging you not to get him killed. That's the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the Good commune. Morning, Arthur. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying. I've Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constant. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? Hello. Arthur. Are we going then? So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Arthur. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwalls. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And... There ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. Yeah. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. 
Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads has got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. Shh, shh, on now. Wrong, Arthur. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. Ah. Really have to do that? He don't need it now. You see there? Tents and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. And being careful. Someone's been here. Sure. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? 
men last night. Where? Where did they take them? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Luther. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Cracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted men. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Easy. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Looks like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. Okay, come on. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch yet. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Hold up. Let me check this. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. Now, I was saying, bastards told me they'd killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young, a long while, a year or more. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Ah, uh, they can... You on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on him. So, you were saying? He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Hey, quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. coming right at us! You get the hell away from him! What you doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight! That's them dealt with. You get them untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Schneiden Sie das Seil durch, bitte!
Hier drüben! Cut him free. Let's get him back to his family. It's okay. I'm getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Bringen Sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Ja. Yeah. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas, oh. Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Well, now get out of here, this place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Thank mm -hmm. you.